What's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we are where? In Illinois. Which is what? <laughs> the most corrupt state in the union. <laughs> where do Welcome we start? Welcome to Illinois, you know? guys. Please get out. Get out. Get out. Get out while you can, guys. Now, you guys, today we're going to talk a little bit about something we're outside. Truck storage. When I tell you truck storage, what is the first thing that comes to mind? Weather guard. Weather guard. Why? The reason being is because a lot of boxes get broken into. It's just, it's a fact, you know. They seem to have the best locks, the best storage system and all that. And I love the fact that, like, when I've talked to other people, too, they don't get, they don't rust, and they don't, the seal on them, so you don't get water or the other environments out there, because they just sit out there 24 seven, so. Right, and we're gonna walk over to Eric's truck in a second and show you his weather box, but right now we just got a brand new one. We just have it installed on here for demonstration purposes, but this is basically a weather guard box, right? And what Eric's talking about is the smoothest. The smoothest is also right here. This is what I like, ready? One push open, and I don't even have to slam it. And that's huge right there because what he just did too is it shuts both sides. There's some ones some where the, the lid is flexible, so you actually got to walk around and try to lock that side too. Yes. This one, you don't have to. I mean, this, this is not flexible. As you can see, it's all framed in here. It's all channeled. Yep. So, I mean, this is a heavy-duty box. This box is designed to last, right? I'm going to put one on my truck, but I want it in black, you know? Um, but if you come in here, Zach, can you see inside? You got, yeah. Okay, it's weatherproof, so whatever you put in here, your tools aren't gonna rust. You have all that space down there. You could put, uh, they must have like a level rack somewhere. Put a level across the back here. They do, it's for, they'll put a level, you can go right here. Cups go in there. And like here, here's the seal we're talking about right here. Mm -hmm. Show them the keys too. You got nice, like real keys. The locks are good keys. Yeah, they're like car keys. Wow, those are like car keys. They look like Ford keys, old Ford keys, don't they? Yeah. Um, so that's cool. Now, let's say I don't want to use keys. Then what? Well, here's what's cool is they've actually got a system for remote. So you can what? set this up and actually have a remote system. With the button, boom, you press, you don't have to worry about any of that. So there's a whole kit that they have and takes yeah. away the key. There you go, you guys. I just wire this into the truck, into the system, and boom. I can unlock it and... Wow, that's crazy. Oh, this one doesn't open on both sides, but if you had one that opens on either side, you could open either side. Oh, probably for like the other saddle box, the ones that the side yeah, boxes. Yeah, the side on boxes. That. That's pretty cool though. Yeah. So I can control up to three boxes on here. If I had three, I walk out, oh, hey, I need my concrete tools. Push a button, psh, opens up, right? Yep. Um, but don't listen to us. Let's talk to someone who's had one on their truck for many years. Enrique, let's Maybe. go look at yours. So this is one I've had actually for a long time. This is actually a big box. It's the biggest one they made at the time. Um, you can see is the old key. And again, I don't know when we got this thing. Yeah. It was a long time ago. Years. But the lock, everything still, and I don't care how much it snows, rains, I can always get into this thing. I've never had an issue getting into it. And he it's rarely washes his car, so it's always Yeah, salt. I don't. That's why but you it, got this rust and everywhere. But if you, truck. if you look though, I mean, just look at the, you could still, I mean, this is at least a five-year-old box. Open it up, let's see. Easily. So I don't have much in there now because I just don't. That's where he puts the bodies. There's the level thing I was talking yes. about. Yep. See the level across the back? And then yours still closes with one hand? Yeah, go ahead. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, isn't it? I'm yeah. telling you. I mean, think about it. The, where we are in Illinois, I mean, it can get up to 100 degrees and it can get down to negative 10. I mean, that's a huge weather variance in terms of putting stress on different materials that sit outside all the time and for it to still be able to perform well. Yeah, it'd be shiny. I just can't believe how shiny it is still. I mean, you can yeah. tell on the top it's getting some weathered, but you know, you just go in there with a little buffer, buff it all out. And I probably, when I was doing a lot of the drywall and stuff at the house, I actually ended up taking this out because I was putting a lot of drywall in here and I had it sitting on the ground for easily six months. Outside? You know, it's, uh, yeah, outside. Wow. And it still didn't rust down below. Now it has these on here, which the new ones do too. I yeah, like the, new the newer ones. ones. Yeah. I like the newer ones because these ones are just, you can't always get with your hand. I mean, this one I can't right there, but sometimes they'll get a little bit tight. The newer ones are a little bit nicer. And it's not made to tie a load down. All it is is like if you've got something back here you don't want moving around, you know, that doesn't pull a lot of weight, that's what they're for. You know, they're not really designed for tie downs. So you guys, that was one of the first videos we ever did where you see the new and the old. And Eric's literally had this five years and never had a complaint. This guy's longer than five. It's got to be longer than five years. It might years, be longer than five years. I mean, I got it in like 2012 or something, man. That's 10 yeah, I don't years. even know. Yeah. Maybe you got it in the 60s. 
40s. 30s. Maybe even the 20s. Yeah, who knows? Or the 10s. Yeah, and the, the 10s, zeros. The zeros, the BCs. Yes. <laughs> All right, you guys, check it out. Weather Guard definitely lasts the test of time. There's a reason why there are most commercial vehicles out there. There's a reason why, you know, you're paying for it, but it's the top quality. It's the best of the best. Weather Guard, check it out. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.